Hello, I wanted to do a video on um, silver prices in the past and the potential for it to go up. Today is June 18, 2022. Now, I did not know that silver at one point in time in the past had hit $127. one hundred and thirty four dollars and thirty one cents in January 1980 Wow uh, yeah I uh, knew uh, I uh, I lived through that period um, and the max that I remember silver hit was fifty one dollars an ounce. But $134.31. Wow, that is, uh, that is mind-blowing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, wow, $134 an ounce. And interest rates were hitting all-time highs of like 21% for home mortgages. And we went through all that, uh, baby boomers. Um, for mill millennials born, uh, you know, in the 90s, uh, late 80s, um, it was a, uh, I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to grasp uh, the um, magnitude of what occurred back then. And, um, but... Uh, everything doesn't happen overnight. Uh, there is a time period in the past which leads up to today's current volatility and market supply and demand. It, it just, you know, everything is not created overnight and we're here living in the present moment. Uh, you know, uh, so far we've been in the silver game, gold, uh, I think for... Um, around the turn of the century in 1900. Um, but even if you go back to 1900, look at 1915, September 1915, gold, uh, silver was $14.76. And that was a lot of money for an ounce of gold back in 1915 because a loaf of bread was, I think, around five cents. So... You know, the purchasing power of the dollar was tremendous. And of course, everybody knows that 1973, Nixon took us off the gold standard and then everything just got, you know, it created bubbles every 10 years. So uh, the lowest that silver got to was $5.47 in June of 1931. That's when the Great Depression really hit uh the United States due to the stock market collapse and right now uh, you know the crypto market is crashing um, I'll do a video on that uh, subscribe to my channel hit the like button leave a comment uh, but you can see uh, it kind of flatlines for I don't know what 10 years it flatlines which is healthy you know, nine, ten, eight dollars, uh, all the way from 1931 through 1966. And then it starts to take off, uh, twenty dollars and fifty nine cents in May of 1968. Then it drops. And 1971, uh, eleven dollars and seventy two cents. But uh, for it to go up to a hundred and thirty four, a uh, hundred and thirty four dollars in 1980 uh, I did not know that and um, I'm watching some videos right now they're saying that the, the silver should hit like two or three hundred two hundred or three hundred dollars and um, uh, I believe it I, I really do believe it I think uh, geopolitical events will occur uh, in the future the near future um, I, I don't want to mention countries, but geopolitical events will spike these 
silver and gold prices tremendously. There's going to be fear and chaos and people are going to go back to the basic metals for financial safety and security. And um, let's see what happened here. In February 2011, that's uh, during uh, during the, the current situation, it hit 63. So April of 2011, no, 2011 was right after the uh, um, 2010 debacle, 2008, 2009 debacle. So silver hit actually $63.18. So, and then uh, I think in 2020, I remembered silver hitting low prices. Um, I, I saw it myself. It hit actually, tw okay, now if you look at here in 2020, March of 2020, it over here on this graph it says $16.02. I saw it and I was, I was monitoring this from every hour in March of 2020. Uh, due to the current situation, and then um, Trump came out with uh, President Trump came out with the stimulus uh, package to get the economy moving, which I, I agree with. Um, but uh, but you can see it's sixteen dollars and two cents. I actually saw the ounce of silver hit twelve dollars. It really hit, you know, uh, not bottom, but it was dropping fast. So then it started to pick up due to uh, news reports from the White House during exactly that same moment uh, in March of 2020. But, um, but you know, the point, what I'm trying to say here in my video that, yeah, silver, an ounce of silver could hit $134.31 and it can go higher. Um, it did uh, back in January of 1980. And um, there's also a push for, there's also a push for, what do I, what I want to say? The Green Deal, Biden is uh, planning to come up with a two, three trillion dollar um, infrastructure deal. And part of that is to build highways, roads and bridges. And also part of that is to, uh, to build uh, charging plants to get more electrical vehicles on the road. So uh, here in this article, which is NAI 500, uh, silver demand to reach record highs in 2022, but silver prices are still low, buying opportunity for golden tag. So, uh, you know, uh, there is a perfect storm brewing and silver is at the center of it. And, and, and I believe that. You watch my past videos, what I've been talking about, silver coins, silver ounces, which you can per buy right now. But a post-pandemic post -pandemic surge is in industrial demand combined with inflation-led investment demand and a renewed interest in silverware and jewelry are driving global silver demand to what? is expected to be a new record high. Wow, okay, so you get the point, what I'm trying to say here. So we're coming out of a pandemic, and um, here it says, a compelling argument can be made that in 2022 would be a good year for silver. Former United States Director and Senior IRA Strategist, Precious Metal Dealer, U.S. Money Reserve, Edmund Moy, tells Barron in a recent interview. As the global economy recovers from the pandemic, expect to see silver demand rise from industrial sector. And Moy is not alone in that prediction. What is described as an exceptionally promising outlook for silver, the Silver Institute forecast global silver demand will grow 8% in 2022, reaching a high of 1.112 billion ounces. That's a lot. So uh, I think the uh, the output is about 800, 800 million ounces, 800 million uh, in my uh, past research. But uh, right now it's it's uh, the demand is uh, 1.12, 1.12 billion ounces. So we're short about 300 million ounces already to uh, supply the demand needs uh, just on an industri industrial 
side of silver's uses. Drawing on research from precious metal research consultancy Metal Focus, the Silver Institute highlights industrial fabrication, including electrical EVs, production, 5G-related applications, and the worldwide push for green energy projects as driving forces behind surging silver demand. Okay, so um, I, I talk about this on my videos, and um, um, uh, I talk about uh, silver, silver coin collecting, and if silver... If silver goes up, just just the paper silver, then silver coins are going to go up exponentially too. So it it is all tied in together. Um, you can buy bullion, but um, uh, you know I think uh, for me uh, silver coins is where it's at, and gold coins. And um, there you have it. Uh, again, uh, I'm not providing financial advice, but uh, I am uh, uh, trying to share with you my personal feelings about investment investments and uh, silver coins, silver, gold is where it's at. Uh, inflation is uh, it's hitting 10% uh, recorded published uh, published rate at 10% uh, in May of 2022 or actually June of 2022 and it was published at 8.6% just a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, um, you know, silver is going to spike, I, I think this year, uh, tremendously. Um, and, and if, if the infrastructure deal comes out with Biden, uh, being passed, um, you, you're going to see it, uh, shoot the moon. Um, I, I saw that when the Trump era infrastructure, uh, the, uh, stimulus deal was passed, silver went up tremendously. It, it, it went uh, from $12 an ounce upwards up to $25 an ounce, uh, hitting $26. And then it's back down to $22 uh, this month. So uh, with the tr uh, trillion dollar package coming out, and it is going to come out, uh, I don't see how the, um, the um, I don't see how that we can go without that not being passed there there is a need for it to um get passed this year sooner the better uh, uh there uh <clears throat> um yeah yeah government uh yeah so you know <laughs> Uh, wow, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the debt is, uh, $30 trillion, but the government has only $6 trillion, 5.95 trillion in assets. So, uh, we're over leveraged as a, but, but, uh, you can see here estimated deterioration deterioration to date is 19 trillion so <clears throat> unfunded medicare promises 55 trillion unfunded social security promises 41 trillion our national debt is 30 trillion publicly held debt is 21 trillion that's all you know credit cards and mortgages pension and retiree health care liabilities 9 trillion dollars and other liabilities at 2 and a quarter trillion so we got $129 trillion of total bills that need to get paid. Um, so what happens? Again, it goes back to silver uh, and gold, uh, getting to the basics. Um, I, I see there's going to be a rush. There's going to be a silver and gold rush uh, pretty soon. So, okay, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel. Please help my channel grow uh, and hit the like button. Leave a comment. And uh, I do respond. And uh, thank you and have a great day. Okay, bye.